Hey guys, Chris Birch here, Entrepreneur Strategies. I'm actually at the shop today, um, doing some cleaning, doing some research. And I just got an email that kind of alerted me to, I get these emails daily almost, at least a couple times a week of new deals, Baltimore deals, which is Baltimore, Maryland is where I uh, heavily invest. It's where one of my businesses is located. Um, but I get this email from a wholesaler. Uh, they're a prominent wholesaler in the Maryland region. Uh, it's called Market Pro. And I wanted to share you share with you today how I analyze a deal without even going to the property. Because I need to make sure this is a deal that the numbers even make sense before I waste a whole lot of time. So let me share my screen with you. The there we go. So this is the property. It's on Falstaff Road. I'm not familiar with the exact neighborhood, um, but they do have pictures. So it says Baltimore end unit in a hot area, all brick, three bedroom, one and a half bath. Um, unit is in clean condition. And you can either rent as is or fix and flip. They're asking 135 off market right now. They're estimating renovations uh, at 35,000. So they're after repair value, the ARV, they're estimating at 215. And they're saying that units similar to this are 1500 a month. And they actually have some photos here of the property. So let's look at them first and just kind of get an idea of the condition. So we got um, living area, more living, got some old carpet that would have to come out. Obviously carpet on the stairs would come out. Uh, it looks like a decent neighborhood, um, mostly duplexes and triplexes, but so I'm sure a lot of this junk would need to come out. I can't tell if the flooring there, they have these runners down. I can't tell. I think that's carpet though. And then obviously back here, you have that old linoleum tile. Yeah, so they do have, doesn't even look like it's ceramics, probably linoleum. Kind of like a, living area, I guess you would call it. All brick, I like that. It's an end unit, that's a plus, all right? An end unit, so it's not, it's only attached on one side. Woo, look at that bathroom. And windows are not bad. But yeah, it looks like a pretty decent, quiet area. I'm not familiar. But, all right, so, you know, we do our numbers here at 135, right? So let's go. And now this is a free way to do this. You don't need a whole lot of fancy software. I'm going to just copy the address out. And then I'm going to go on Zillow. I use Zillow sometimes, Redfin sometimes. Bunch of realtors will probably tell you that you know it's not accurate, but it is accurate if you're looking for comparables, right? So if you're looking at certain comparables, Zillow's estimate is 172,000, and they were saying 215. Okay, I'm not mad at that, but a free way to analyze your deals is in Zillow. They have search criteria. So if we go back to our property, which was on the map right here on Falstaff and Gist. So if we go back over to the actual map, we're right here on the corner, right? This one right here. So to scan this neighborhood, to get an accurate comp, I'm not seeing, I'm sorry, 
we need to switch it to sold and hit done. All right, there we go. That's what I was looking for. All right, so on that immediate street, I'm seeing one here sold for 54000 two years ago. So that's not going to be a good comp. All right, we've got another one here on the same block, three bedroom, three bath. And what was ours? It was a three bedroom, one and a half bath. So this is not really a comp by having three bathrooms, but for basic square footage purposes, it's okay. So this one sold about a year ago, a little over a year ago for 209. So that's getting a little bit better. Um, and then without going too far out, I'm only a block or so over. Yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot. I mean, I'm seeing one on the back side, but this is actually on a busier street. This is on Reisterstown. That only sold for 113. So yeah, I, I really don't know about this one. I mean, it doesn't appear, you know, if we look at the pictures, it doesn't appear like it needs a whole lot. But I don't know if that two, what did they say? 215? I'm not so sure about that. But, you know, I just wanted to share with you guys that, you know, there are so many different ways that you can do real estate and not actually have to be running to the property and calling contractors. There's a lot of different tools, especially that I use. Zillow's one. It's not always accurate, but let's use this deal for an example. I'm obviously not going to go jump in my Jeep and go driving up to the city to go look for it. Using certain strategic tools will help you, you know, countless times over and over again, just because you're not wasting a lot of time running here and running there. You can go online, look at comps. As we saw there, there's one for like 50, there's one for 209. But at, at that price and the repairs, I think the repair estimate is pretty close around 30. Um, cause you're definitely going to be doing some floors. You're probably going to be doing some appliances. Kitchen cabinets didn't, didn't look actually, did we do kitchen cabinets? I don't know if we saw kitchen. Uh, let's see. I don't think I saw kitchen. Oh, yeah, there we go. Snippet of a kitchen. Old, cheap, um, looks to be an electric stove. Can't really, they didn't really do a great job. So, you know, I mean, it, for market countertop, cabinets are fine. They need drawer pulls on the upper cabinets, obviously. They have them on the lowers. Looks to be extremely, uh, extremely small kitchen. But anyways, um, Looking at it from this perspective, I mean, you're going to be removing wallpaper. That linoleum tile is not going to work. So I think their estimate of thirty to thirty-five thousand is probably pretty accurate. Um, I'm just not sure, based on the comps we were seeing here on Zillow, uh, if this is actually even going to be a deal. But guys, I just wanted to share that with you. If you do me a favor, if this has been helpful, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Smash that like button for me. I'm trying to build my channel to share with you the kind of tools and tricks that I use to grow my business. This doesn't look like a deal, but I'd be happy every time I get a new one to post it, let you guys see how I'm able to pick it apart. So until the next time, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon.